the Karkovka Dam and hydroelectric station are gone. That's what we know. Important news out of Ukraine. But first, this is Crisis Report. And to keep these reports coming, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Now, that's what we know, is that the Karkovka Dam on the Dnieper River is gone. Um, important. Let's see. Let's pull up this map here. Um, right here. This is the one that is gone. Here that holds all that water there. Um, and the hydroelectric dam. Let's pull this up and watch this here. As we can see the water overflowing. This is tremendously bad that's happening right now. Um, this is going to cause many problems. And just wanting to show you the extent of the damage. It is something that cannot be repaired while the war is active, um, this, this level. So um, until there is a real settlement of status, this cannot be repaired. Uh, that is my estimation from looking at the damage. Need too much control over things to build, um, to repair this. If we can still see this building is still coming apart here. Now I've yet to see video of the actual cause of this collapse, which would tell us a lot. So we just had some video, i uh, presuming of an explosion. It, it is possible. I'm not good because I don't see blast damage on any, well, I, yeah, maybe there. I don't know, but um, I'm not seeing a lot of blast damage. Doesn't say that there needs to be. And we're going to, again, we're going to go in and look at what this means. Um, Did this one? No. Uh, no. Uh, uh, this one here. This is, this is what's happening right now, people. This is what's uh, projecting to happening right now. Um, this has happened just a few hours ago as I'm making this. You can see here, this is what somebody's potentially showing. I don't know that it's going to go exactly this way, but this is out. This is Curson area here. Um, heading out to the sea um and that's probably just looking at a uh, low level um you know river delta area that could all happen here or is happening um now as i'm making this because it takes a while more than 80 small towns and hundreds of villages part of the curse on city are forecasted to flood after russia nah we're after the destroy to the kirkovka dam this morning Flooding disaster will unfold over the next 11 hours. So as I'm making this, um, well, we can see June 5th, um, uh, 1120 PM and it's June 6th for me here. And this is, I'm presuming my time here when this was posted, um, 2 AM. So just three, four hours ago. So it's probably part way down here and it's moving. So now let's take a look. Okay. So that's what's happening now that again, I don't know exactly the extent of um, what's going to be flooded out here, but it is something like that. That is its general path. I want to be very careful here. As I, as I talk about this, there are things that we know the dam and the um, hydro um, power plant is gone. In that section, as you saw. And then there's things we can speculate about. Okay, this is from obviously Visigard 24. They say Russia just blew up the Kharkov Dam. Where's the evidence for that? I have yet to see. I know this is in the fog of war. I know this is in the immediate aftermath, but I've yet to see evidence for that. Um, the water from the Kharkov Reservoir flowing towards the city of Kherson. Thousands of uh, people risk drowning, yes. And the other thing, the I'm not even going to try to, nuclear power plant is at risk. Now, 
I believe that nuclear power patent, we could look it up, but I'm not going to at the moment. I believe that is currently in Russian hands. Where, and the idea of it being at risk is the water levels here, um, uh, the plant is um, somewhere around here. I'm not sure. But if the water levels go too low from where they're designed to intake and out, take to keep the cooling reactor, the, the reactor cooled properly, um, that can cause a serious problem, okay? Um, so, uh, you know, overheating. And we saw similar situation in with uh, Fukushima reactor. Obviously that was a tsunami coming up on shore. Uh, but what that did was is destroy the ability to continue to cool the reactor afterwards and shutting it down was obviously difficult. So um, other bits, here's the football stadium of Nova Karkovka. I hope I'm pronouncing that relatively right. All You can see here the stands all flooded. There is the dam there. I wanted to show relative space. So this is the dam. Oh, and they said the size of Hoover Dam. Nowhere near the size of Hoover Dam. Hoover Dam is much, much larger than this little, this little small dam. This is, this is a relatively small dam compared to Hoover Dam. And I even did a check on, maybe they were talking about the amount of water capacity behind it. No, the Hoover Dam is about twice um, the water capacity um, that it can hold behind it. So it is nowhere near um, the Hoover Dam size in either metric. Okay, this is another thing that caught my eye in, in looking into this. A map by Euromaiden Press, which is just to give my sources, is a, and I did look them up here, they are a Ukrainian source pro-Ukraine. Take that as you will. Um, so uh, the validity of this map here. Um, this is, which I don't know, this is awfully quick coming from the, the, the first few hours. But this, the idea here is um, Crimea's water lifeline here that they're talking about. That there is, um, and oh, um, and it from backed up from some of these others, um, that this does seem to be uh, reasonably clear. Um, uh, I, they say I honestly doubt it would do so. Okay, the point is that this is water coming down into the Crimea. Um, they're saying, uh, person doubt the destruction of the dam will work this way. Um, the canal gravitational source is a point upstream just before the dam. Right, but we'll wait and see. Yeah, obviously. This to me would be evidence that it's unlikely um, something that is being done by the Russians. Because even though the point source they were saying is north of the dam and it's gravitational, yes, but you're relying upon the water being at a minimum height. Um, and... Um, my understanding is, is that one of the reasons this dam was made was to be able to feed water down into here. So if it's gravitational, there is an ability to pump it up at some stage. This may all depend upon, I don't know why it's going all the way to Kretsch. That mm, seems a bit odd, but um, maybe that just wasn't that hard to go out there. Now, if you notice where the main and secondary lines do go here, very little seems to go to cities, and which particularly my understanding of places like Sevastopol and Yalta are the bigger cities here. And as one of the um, people points out, there there is drinking water here. Yes, this is, and as we can see, irrigated areas, um, this is done to for farming. This is farming irrigation. Farming irrigation needs lots of water. Not that cities don't, 
Um, you know, if you're watering your lawns, you're you're um, using water at any sort of volume. Um, cities definitely use water, but if you go back to like sort of drinking water and minimum cooking water, you you can use a lot less than what may be needed here. So um, maybe supplemental for the cities or maybe down here at Sevastopol, looks like there's no connection with the mountains, maybe not used at all, uh, but definitely looks to be farmland. Right. Um, let's take a look at, here's a picture of the dam beforehand. We can tell that um, some of this here is, uh, yeah, here we go. We were just seeing between these two towers that we saw it was partially gone that i think was still sort of there and this is all flowing give you just an idea of what's going on yes it's on the Dnieper river um major river now who did this and why okay this is getting into serious speculation now and uh No longer, and I didn't wait, I did make a, did attempt to contact one of my people that is normally pretty, pretty fast to get back to me in Ukraine, but just his work schedule and whatnot, um, just to, just to get what he, he was thinking on the topic. Why is this being done? What good does it do? And to who? When we were seeing last fall the Russian withdrawal from um, north uh, north of the river here, um, and leaving Kherson city um, proper, uh, you very well might have blown the dam then to stop a, uh, an offensive. So unless there is, and I, again, and I may have missed any reporting on it, um, unless there's an offensive in this region right now, I don't see a reason to blow it now. I don't understand from sure it you know um terrorism you know, we're seeing this when i look at war i always got to look for the reasons for things to happen um and you can only blow this dam once so its impact I don't think that this was doing a ma I don't think was sending a major amount of power to um any Ukrainian sources at the moment. I I doubt that because of the war why would they? So why now? So unless there was a expected or ongoing offensive coming across the the Dnieper at that point, you know, sort of at the Kherson crossing um, by the Ukrainian forces. I don't see why it happened now. Now, could it have been a mistake? Because um, I've read reports um, or read this here, um, actually, um, Wikipedia here, uh, back in 2020, um, that they were possibly going to, um, like I was saying, um, could blow it to slow down the Ukrainian advances. Maybe the explosives were left in place, which wouldn't be unreasonable. Uh, and maybe somehow they got set off. But again, we don't have any footage yet that I've seen. Uh, I'll bring it to you if, if I do. Um, of what happened here. 
and I suspect it was blown up, though I'm I'm not absolutely sure. Now, to get something like this collapsing all along this way and not just a, a section of it, because it really does seem, it does seem likely that it was an explosion. Now, you're not going to, unless, unless the, unless, I was going to say, you're not going to do it with a small commando raid. Unless the small commando raid from the Ukrainians or something is coming in, knowing where and how to detonate any explosives um, pre-installed by the Russians, unless that's happened, you're not going to just easily blow this thing up with a few man portable explosives. Dams, the way that that collapsed is big. And it, very much seems to be down more at the base of the dam than, you know, just what some people are going to carry. If it was the Ukrainians, I am suspecting some sort of underwater delivered bomb. Um, we have recently had the big anniversary and lots of stuff on the dam busters, the, um, the British, you know, dropping, um, very large rolling bombs that were designed to go get to the dam, go to the bottom of the dam, um, and then detonate, you know, in the Ruhr Valley in World War II. Uh, so I'm thinking that that, not that it was done by air and done that way, but, and the Ukrainians have been, like the Kretsch River Bridge, have been using um either remotely piloted or um ai driven uh as well as other um cruise missile type attacks um dr or drone attacks maybe would be more appropriate on uh you can see some of my previous videos on targets along the um black sea this may be a similar sort of um, munition put in a um, a smuggler submarine, um, H.I. Sutton, uh, covers a lot of the drug smuggling submarines that um, Colombians and other people use to bring drugs either all the way into America or to other ports that can barely go under the water. They're basically um, surface vessels that can just sort of kind of submerge a bit. Um, that you may have had something like that that could take, that would be low low visibility, that could um, get to, uh, one or more of them could get to the dam and then be told to sink. And that starts a timing um, uh, procedure and then blow up. So blowing up deep underwater, that could be the way the Ukrainians could have done it. Um, now, why would the Ukrainians do it? Well, to disrupt Russian, um, disrupt Russia around the area. But I also wonder, why are the Russians doing it right now? Um, meaning this could be another Kretsch bridge type strike that's trying to disrupt Russia's hold on it. If Russia's blowing this up, in my opinion, and I, all kinds of people have opinions on what's going on in the war, and a lot of stuff have been saying, oh, Russia's winning, Russia's going to win, Russia's winning, blah, 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 blah. Okay. The ground seems firm, I'm guessing now. Someone can... Let me know if I'm wrong about that. Why is there no major offensives going on? If Russia's blowing this up, it's actually a good sign for the Ukrainians is that this is admitting, because you don't blow up a piece of infrastructure if it's useful to you, okay? If you're retreating from the enemy and the enemy's following you, following you um, and you're worried about them catching up, you blow up the bridge so they don't cross it quickly, rapidly, Right. But if you're planning on coming back, you know, doing a counterattack two days later, you don't blow the damn bridge up. You just withdraw because you got, you know, outflanked and you're getting ready to, to go back in in just a, a few days. You don't blow the bridge up. You only blow that up if you're not planning on coming back. 
So if this is a major supply water source for Crimea, which of course the, the Russians want, um, and this could take years, and if, it, and if this does not stay in Russia's hands, it will not be rebuilt in such a way that it will supply water to Crimea, even if Crimea stays in Russian hands and this stays in Ukrainian hands. I just don't see the logic for the timing of this from the Russian side unless they really think they're going to be withdrawing from this area and deciding to take this out. Uh, from the Ukrainians, it's also why now. Um, what does it benefit the Ukrainians now? Um, if they knew of a major Russian offensive coming to try to retake Kherson, that would be. But Russia's having so many problems, and I haven't covered it yet, but with the Wagner Group, uh, manpower is having lots of problems. I'm just waiting for the other shoe to drop um, on what's going on. And this may be part of it that I've been waiting for, but I don't know what's going, why now and why who. And so I really, really taking Russia as the culprit very cautiously. So I'm not saying they didn't do it. God, no. Um, but this wasn't done haphazardly unless somehow it was a, again, um, an accidentally uh, blowing up of charges that were preset. Stranger things have happened than that. Now, of course, that would be Russia presetting the charges that mishandling it doesn't, doesn't absolve them from blame. It would just be like, you know, Ivan tripped over something and it blew up, but it's still Ivan's fault because Ivan put the explosives there. You know what I mean? It's, it's, you know, um, so I'm not saying that. Okay. Well, I hope this has been informative and an in interesting analysis of what's going on. Again, like I say, we don't know yet. We know the dam is gone. That's what we know. We know that it's going to cause major problems. We'll see how big. Like I said earlier, please like and subscribe to these videos. I will keep coming and I will make a follow-up to this if I get new concrete information. Thanks, everyone.